Hi, I don't know what time of day it is with you, but with me it's morning, so good morning. Um, today we're going to be looking at something, uh, solving a problem. And you know the expression, necessity is the mother of invention. Around our studios we have an awful lot of stuff. Now, I'm going to use, to help me with this, uh, a flip bracket from Lasterlite. And basically, it's a flash. It's a flash holder. But this one has the advantage, and it's a super flash holder, um, very expensive flash holder, I can tell you, um, that it raises the flash up above the camera. For me, not high enough. But I'm going to solve that one as well in my next video. But it's nice quality, very hard. It's got a quick release pad on it. Great, but that's not what I want to talk to you about. We all have the same problem. I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. And I don't think we've really solved that problem. Very few people do, but this is a lovely way of doing it. I'll show you. It's very simple. We just take off this little bit and we put on a little bracket that again holds a flash. I mean, we all know what those are. They cost about, uh, oh, well, it's not particularly expensive. I don't know what they cost, but you can get them quite cheaply. Not a Lasterlite one, because they're more expensive. This one's Lasterlite. Anyway, I found it lying around the studio. We've all got them for holding strobes, etc. That fits very nicely on there. So that's the start. Now, that's got the advantage, of course, of being able to put it at any angle. Well, we're going to start with it at that angle. Get that old bit of paper off. And we'll put the camera on the stand. If I unlock it, I can open it. Right. That's it. Now, I'll do that very quickly. very easy to put on. Um, uh, a little... <laughs> just <laughs> it's in! <laughs> no, we got that done and we're ready to go. Well, we've got it on and I'll bet you're wondering what this is all about. Well, I'm going to turn that that way around. Now, have you ever been out in the rain, lashing down, and you've got here a lens which is 1,500 pounds, you've got a camera which is about 1,200 pounds, and you're going to get it wet. It's going to go all over the lens, even with the lens hood, if it's lashing down. Well, I'll show you a little idea I had. <laughs> I have just a standard umbrella. And if I put it in there, where it's normally got to be, <laughs> I can adjust it to any angle that I want, just by doing that. I can put it over my head, I can put it there, whoops. I can even raise it up. So, my friends, that's how to stay dry and take pictures at the same time. So what do you think of that then? It's a good idea, isn't it? Hey? There we go. Well, I'm off. Singing in a rain, just singing in a rain. 